Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dark spots. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Everybody, Cypher Boy here. As you can see, it's a playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna go with let's do Elf. Then I'm going to say, um, let's do mage. I like mages. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead, create my character of Cypher, which is my, if you notice on my, um, YouTube channel it's Cypher Boy Gamings, which is Cypher is the character I've decided to go with. Greetings. Um let's see. Five points to spin. So at the beginning if there's music that doesn't supposed to be there, rather than the music that was there along with the voice over that means I had to mute the um, mutes the music for copyright reasons I don't know if that's gonna be an issue or not however 
I do um, want to make that clear. Let's do the coercion. And I got two of them here, so let's do heal, of course. Um, let's see. I never really used the creation spells besides heal. So let's see if I can do a character based on this class of magic. I'll do normal. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Know this, Apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. I went back and changed the character how he looked because I forgot to do that before so I went ahead and did everything and I did give him the option um, to um, let's see what I was trying to say Rather than the paralysis um, spell, I did the one for drain life. That's, that's fine.
some of the um, some of the health back up. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fae. You can call me... Well... Mouse. No, I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fae. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here, other spirits. They will tell you more, maybe help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. Dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready so to So I decided it. to um, choose a piece of music from the YouTube studio, YouTube audio studio, to try and complement the um, the music that plays during the um, cutscenes. done that before so when you do that it's Most excellent. you can still use the music however it transforms it enough to where it won't be a copyright issue because it seems like it makes it sound like it's a new um, music altogether <laughs> to get the staff. Be cautious. There is so another I was going spirit to here. Play the Not second the version. The second one. The um It's a demon, maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Even if I were willing to help, mortal, what would you have me do? Fight the demon for you? He and I have 
no quarrel. And I am quite comfortable where I am. But thank you. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? Do he teach the mortals to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. I'm gonna try it. Leave me to my rest. <sighs> so, have you changed your mind, mortal? Will you accept my challenge? Surely. Oh. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without food, mountains without land. What am I? Oh, a map. Oh, well, correct. Let's move on. A second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Um, so... Let's see. to say my breath no 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 my tongue that's the one because the sayings hold your tongue or hold your breath whatever yes your witty tongue fair enough one more try shall we often I spend the day never like to feed Say a book for this one. Time to feast. What a delight. Stand still. Enough, Marcus. Was not worth all this. 
this exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels heavy. Close. Close enough. Go then, mouse. Defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I taught the mouse to not resist in bothering me. I'm tired. Okay, let's go back. I think I'm missing the staff. I'm supposed to get a staff from someone. I don't know if he's back this way or further up ahead, so I'm going to look and see. That one's helping me this time. Okay, spirit of Another valor. Another spirit this way. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. I am Valor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave, until one of you is dead. They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Without a doubt, in this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle, and my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. <laughs> 